like to track me. The food we do here is just honest, craveable, like relatable food, I think. I worked for Nathan Outlaw for a long time, um, six years. He said, did you want to come up and run the Capital Hotel when he had his restaurant there? So came up there, um, ran that spot for two years, and then um, opened here uh, about two and a half years ago. It's not technically a Japanese restaurant. It's not even aiming to be a Japanese no. restaurant at all. So can you just sort of tell me how you were, are utilizing Japanese ingredients to sort of build that flavor in, but without it sort of becoming a, a Japanese restaurant, I suppose. Yeah. So for me, um, authenticity is a big thing. So I would never try and make something that I would call a Japanese dish or an Italian dish, whatever. You know, it's a bit fake and I don't want to do that. So first time when you came here and I met, I met you, um, I remember just you had all the stuff laid out and just tasting those things. And then it was almost like working backwards. So you taste those beautiful soys or the, or the furikake or whatever, you know, things that we use in, in, our, in our food. And it's like, suddenly you're like, wow, this will be amazing with this. This will be amazing with that. So when you're using a ponzu, like the one we use, where it's been made for 150 years in the same barrels for 18 generations of that family, I can't replicate that in any way, and so why would I bother to try? So for me, having something that's so perfect, that just marries so well with, with seafood, because obviously we, it's a fish restaurant, that's like a very easy connection to make, is this is delicious, that's delicious, let's just bring, bring those two things together. Can you remember the first sort of time you thought about using a Japanese ingredient in a dish? You, you mentioned before that you can sort of like taste a, a season in maybe a Japanese ingredient and then work backwards and it starts those fireworks off in your mind about like, gosh, this could go with that, this could go with, with this. Can you just tell me about the first ingredient that you thought that's going to go on this dish? Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think the first one is probably is the one that we that we use here the most, which is the, the Shibanuma Yuzu Ponzu. Like, I just remember tasting it and I'd, I'd had Ponzu's before and I'd had soys and stuff before, but like I genuinely never really tasted anything that was that level. Like it really was like a, you know, like this Eureka moment, like, oh my God, this stuff is incredible. Like I literally couldn't wait to, to do you know what I mean? To get it on our food. And we've had that dish on for, ages now like well it's 18 months probably and we just we've never adjusted it we've never changed it because it's just like it's just perfect as it is it's just such a showcase of it and then having gone there having actually gone to to tokyo to the shibanuma factory it might sound a bit cliche but every time i taste it i can it reminds me of that place it really does like take take me back there and yeah it's just that that's the one for me that i think when i taste it i was just like wow this is this is amazing what do the customers think? So, so we're talking about the dish, uh, the sea bream dish that's got the ponzu inside it. The, mm. So what sort of feedback are you getting from the customers about, about, about these things? Are they noticing that these ingredients are, are jumping out or are they yeah. just saying that, that, that it's making something special happen to the dish? Or what sort of feedback mm. are you getting? We get quite a lot of um, people from the industry coming in, chefs and whatnot. And that's always like a chef's favorite. I think people often haven't tasted something like that before. Furikake is something that not everyone in Britain knows too much about or has tried before. So the furikake on top, and then like the depth of that ponzu, it really is one of them things that like, it just kind of hits you in the mouth. It's like an explosion of flavor. It's just like, wow, like this is. You get lots of different levels with it, don't you? You get like, you're getting yeah. the yuzu high notes and you're getting the, mm. the soy sauce and the and the dashi katsuboshi sort of like earthiness almost yeah, aren't definitely. you and you're getting the freshness and the coolness from the sea yeah. green it's just like a, f a flavor bomb like <laughs> going off in your mouth it's just like bang um and yeah i think it's just yeah it's one of it's probably probably might be my favorite dish on the menu actually it's just an incredible thing now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna have it, it? Uh, so there's like a phrase that i like i think we talked about this but lots of times before is um, kakushiaji, which is like hidden flavor. So yeah. we talked about like the sea bream dish, which is, it's not a Japanese dish, but it's got a lot of flavors that you would immediately go, oh, dashi, soy sauce, yeah, yeah. ponzu, uh, furikake with the nori and, and all those things. And then yeah. you think, okay, there's a lot of Japanese flavors in there. But on the flip side, there's a lot of, would you say there's a lot of things that you could do to sort of 
just build flavor without really people knowing that it's in there, if you know what I mean? There's... Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's one, there's one thing that we're using at the minute, which is like the dashy concentrate, um, which is we, anything we make at the minute, puree, sauces, whatever, it's just, we're putting spoonfuls of it in just because it's like, it's just like, it's liquid flavor. So do you know what I mean? Like as soon as it goes into anything, it just makes it more tasty, more, more delicious. But you're not, you're not sitting there eating it, going, oh yeah, I can, ta I can taste that dashy. It just adds depth. You know when chefs always talk about depth of flavour. But without sort of taking it in a different direction, it's just sort of almost like you would use salt to season something. Exactly. It doesn't taste of salt. It just t just you need a little bit of that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, that's always that's always the one that everyone always says like salt as a seasoning. But then, you know, there's so many different levels of like. The different spices that you can get or, or whatever and this just adding like levels and levels of flavor but without being that prominent you know this is what this is it's it's those sort of background notes So yeah, with this one, what you want to do is like, because it's like a classic tartare, so that's why okay. you got an egg. I always think people always do like, say fish tartare, but they just mean like raw chopped up fish, but I think you've got to have an egg. So okay. I always that binds say like, it together. Yeah, like kind of mix it around like you would like a steak tartare. Okay. Yeah. So this is it's sea bream. Sea bream, yeah. So we've got ponzu, you've got a very, very mild chili oil yeah. on there, jalapeno chili oil. Mm. We've got furikake, soy sauce, all the good stuff. <laughs> Colour, that's wicked. Never gets old, though. Do you know what I mean? And the chilli's interesting. I wasn't expecting it. Do you know what I mean? It. It's mm. there, right there. Yeah. Yeah. A bit of spice. Yeah. I love that dish. Do you know what? It's salty, but it's not... Do you know what I mean? It's like characterfully... I suppose that's what we're talking about with the flavour. Yeah, right? yeah. The thing that I'd be most upset that people said about our food was that it was bland. So for me, I wanted it to just be like big. And because they're small plates, it's got to make an impact. Do you it's know definitely I mean? not bland. So yeah, so that's what I mean. It's like you get that. Yeah, I mean, it's, this is the sort of dish that you'd often get just as a one spooner and you'd be like, oh, come on. And now it's, you feel treated by maybe you've got like six yeah. or seven spoons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's a perfect one to share as well. So normally, obviously, everything here is sharing. So you just have one of these between the two of you. So it's like... I think the chilli was like a surprise to me because yeah, I wasn't yeah. expecting it. But yeah. I think, again, it's not, it's not a silly level. Old, like. Yeah, I'd say it's really, really well balanced, mate. Cheers, man. I can eat that for days, man. I'm a Yorkshireman. Yeah. So I want to dip my bread in and get all the gravy out. Mm -hmm. <laughs>